Hi, I'm Olivia and I'm going to show you the day in the life of a model. Today I'm going to a casting. My agent emailed me maybe like two days ago and I am just going to see how it goes. I'm going to drive over to San Francisco. I live a little bit of a distance from there and um, I'm excited. I love castings. They're a little bit nerve wracking sometimes, but they're pretty simple. So for starters, basic requirements. I always recommend if you have long hair, putting it in a low pony. Pretty much the whole goal is to just be a blank canvas. You don't want to have anything that's too distracting or takes away from your natural beauty. So I also put on a little bit of makeup you should not put on a lot at all like maybe just concealer I just put in a little bit of Vaseline in my eyebrows tiny dot of mascara um, and a little bit of bronzer all around just so I don't look completely dead <laughs> yeah you want to look as natural as possible if they see noticeable makeup sometimes people will point it out and that's really traumatic I'm gonna get changed now the attire for you to wear is always gonna be all black um, I always wear all black jeans with like a tank and heels I like to switch up how the top is I think today I might wear like a one sleeve thing it's honestly up to you as long as it doesn't take away from what you look like I'm gonna go get changed now also, do not wear fake nails. <laughs> uh, you're not supposed to have this. Um, models should always have neutral nail color or none at all, but um, it was my birthday like a couple days ago, so I wanted to treat myself and I didn't know I was gonna have this casting, so here I am. Let me get changed. All right, here's my outfits. I decided to go with the one sleeve thingy. I look like I'm gonna go to a funeral. What else is new? I also have my bag, which I will show you what's in it in a moment once we're in the car, but we gotta head out. Hi! You're in our glove compartment. <laughs> I'm here with my mom. She's driving me. Um, she's the best. She is literally my momager. She has been for my whole life, but I wanted to show you what's in my mama bag. Oh my god, I feel like I'm literally a beauty guru in 2013 when everyone like did that. She's a little bit dented because she's been in my closet for a while and that hurts my soul. So starters, I have my portfolio which is pretty much a visual resume. This is very important. And so we have a lot of pictures from like test shoots. So it kind of just shows um, the casting agency what you're going to look like on camera and how your look can change around. So you want a portfolio that is as diverse as possible because you want to prove to them that like, look, I really am a blank canvas and you can turn me into anything and I will complete your vision. And then in the back they always have um, the comp cards. So, oh my god, this is back when I was like 17. Um, so cute. Um, and it has your measurements in the back and everything. So, very nice. You definitely need this always. I bring this with me just in case. A lot of times they don't even need it, especially if it's for like a runway show. They don't really want to see your pictures, but they will take the comp cards in the back. So, very important. I also have my heels. So, whenever you do a casting, you always need to bring heels because you want to look as tall and as leggy as possible. <laughs> I do really want to get new heels, like a kind of boot that has like a little bit of hip platform and it's like all black. I don't know. I have this vision and um, I want to get them one day, but eventually I will. As of right now, these will work. Make sure that the shoes that you have are really comfortable and that you've practiced walking in them and whatnot. I also have a Ziploc bag of makeup. Um, really professional, Olivia. This is just like basic stuff just in case I need a touch up or some sort of drastic thing happens to my face um, in this hour that we're gonna be driving. <laughs> you never know. Um, and then a brush and that's pretty much it, yeah. But I also recommend bringing snacks and water if you're going to like a shoot or a show. So you wanna make sure that you're eating right and taking care of yourself. So I always try to bring something that's pretty nutritious and that'll keep me energized like, um, like almonds or tangerines, apples. I always have like a snack in my bag. But yeah, that's, that's what's in my model bag. <laughs> I hope that we make it in time. It's like, what, 12.15? And my casting's at 1.30, so let's hope that we make it. <laughs> I think we will since it's not traffic, but you never know. Say hi, mommy. Hi. My mom is a legend. I love her so much. Oh, um, thank you. Fun fact, in a couple days, well not a couple days, 
like two weeks, we're gonna go to Europe, and I'm so excited. <laughs> And I'm probably gonna vlog it too, and you're probably gonna see it. So stay tuned. Subscribe. <laughs> mm. Little life hack: if you want to cut off your arrival time to be a little bit shorter, just take the carpool lane when you only have two people in your car. I didn't want to seem like I was disrespectful, um, so of course I wouldn't. But pretty much they had me try on a gown, they measured me, which is kind of unusual. Usually with castings, it's usually just walking and I usually see a lot of my other like model friends, but it was just me in there, which was a little bit nerve-wracking. Wow. So, um, we'll see if they like me. I really can't read it, it's very just matter-of-fact, so hopefully my measurements matched up to what they wanted, and we'll see. Now at Cheesecake Factory, the place that we always go to after pretty much every casting. I only go to Cheesecake Factory for this bread specifically, this brown bread. Oh, yeah, this salad is huge. Look how big it is. It's a lot of food. This is actually my favorite thing in the whole world. I'm pointing directly at it. First bite. We're really vlogging everything. So now we're going to H&M. I have a little bit of clothes, just a, just a little bit. Um, well, that was depressing. <laughs> I'm not getting anything because I don't have money. You don't have money, Olivia. You just choose to not spend it. Because I spent $200 well, online shopping last week. I have this problem I where I buy clothes too much. So if anyone wants to fund my shopping, let me know. If someone's so generous and they just have disposable money, you know, so. just, just <laughs> let me know. It's not gonna <laughs> You know you got no money when you gotta go to Forever 21 and try to settle. I really like that long skirt. No, it's too expensive. It's like $60 for a skirt I'm gonna wear maybe twice. I don't know, nothing? I want it for free. Okay, here's the thing. I have a hard time spending $60 at H&M because I feel like it's not even that good of quality. H&M randomly decided to be somewhat expensive sometimes and I'm like, why? All right, we just... Stop whistling. We just went shopping. So we just went shopping at Forever 21, which is right behind us. But we explored the whole store, top to bottom, including the sales rack. Uh, Goodwill. <laughs> no, but the thing is, Goodwill is actually good because there's cool pieces in yeah. there. But oh, with Forever 21, it's just like the all ugly stuff off. that's just like been percent. abandoned and no one wants. Yeah. So that's kind of sad. We're gonna go now. So we are back in the car, about to enter rush hour traffic, which is super fun. <laughs> it's almost six o'clock, and. Um, it was a good day today. This is what I got from Forever 21, and I'll show you what it looked like in the dressing room too. I got this really cute polka dot dress. I feel like a fairy in it, so that's why I like it. And I feel like it's very like romantic and girly and really cute. And then also I got this like silk rose colored cami. I was really needing a 
looking at Cammy, but we're in the middle of the street. <laughs> Sorry, one more thing. I totally forgot to mention this. I also got these sunglasses. I don't know how I feel about them, but they're like those glasses that I always see on those aesthetic Instagram pages where they're like Parisian and they're like having their Chanel bags and look amazing. So I thought I would mimic that with these $5 glasses. <laughs> Do I like them? I don't know. What do you think, Mom? I like them. I think they're kind of cute. Get the London look. Yeah, I think the casting went well. We'll see how it goes. I mean, it's always kind of just hit or miss. Hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? It's always just based on random factors. I've learned over the years just to never take castings too seriously. Just have fun with it and just celebrate the fact that you even were there and gave it your all because if you get hung up on not getting things, you're gonna feel really bad about yourself. <laughs> and a lot of the times, it's just factors that you just can't control. Maybe they want a different look, or they already have some girls that look just like you. Stuff like that, so I try not to let it get to me. Now it's time to sit in traffic for hours. Kind of merge seven lanes into two. <laughs> there we go, come on in. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Aggressive. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it um, and stay tuned for more random occasional vlogs <laughs> Just because for me, this is a lot of fun. I like sharing what I do with other people I'm very much of a people person. So it kind of gives me a sense like I'm talking to someone else. You know what I mean? <laughs> I sound like I'm crazy, but um Subscribe. Hope you liked it. If not, I'm sorry <laughs>